His research interest was how to be a youth in modern democracy. And he's typing this performance, Democracy in Praxis. Welcome to Democracy in Praxis. What we're doing here today is that we are going to recreate our own tiny democracy inside this room. <laughs> Unluckily for me, DFL beat me to the punch with a one. <laughs> but we'll do it anyway. So, in front of you, you can see a projector, three boxes, me and yourself. All of you have one vote. And we have two rounds, and we have three participants, or three monologues, that several different people have worked hard on, spent their time on, helped me with, and yeah, to be a part of this work. Voting process goes, you go over here, pick a sheet of paper, and put it inside box one, two, or three. When you've done that, you've cast your votes. It's a shame, because we won't be able to see everyone, but I hope you're happy with the choices you make today. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can just get started. Go ahead, go up, and cast your votes. <laughs> Okay, let's see how the voting turned out. <laughs> Thank you so much for using your voice here today. <laughs> this is lovely. You know, I didn't expect this, but we have like a 230% voter turnout today. And I guess that makes our democracy really strong. You know, and I've been thinking, after I came here, uh, we traveled to Amakazeni, and we saw this red soil with these beautiful flowers growing out of them, like almost this tall. And I remembered a saying that I heard, the first time I heard it was in a movie called Blood Diamonds, and I didn't think much of it. And then when I came here, somebody else repeated that saying to me which is an old Shona saying that the, the soil in this land is colored red with the blood of the people who fought for the territories. And I thought, there has to be like a metaphor in there somewhere. I don't know where, but like somewhere there's this metaphor because we have our democracies and people fought and died for them and now they kind of fucking suck. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not going to talk for your democracy, but at least ours is in the danger of being thrown off by a couple of Russians with Facebook access, which is crazy. I honestly don't think I need to count these votes because we, we have a winner. Tin 
ibile sang khotso khatsa nako le nako ke 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 nahana hore ho tla be go fala ka mehla ke re ho tla me ho be go fala bo thata ke hore ke tsaba go bua moikutlo a ka o nkutlo ha se gore ke tsaba ha o na le ke tsaba gore ha o na ya tla mmamela fela ke tsaba gore ba tla bua ba reng ba tla a ka
find it is one boat, at least. So let's see how many. <laughs> now I find it interesting because the whole theme of democracy, when I came down here, I talked about how we are a bit split or torn in regarding to our Norwegian democracy. And here as well, it seems like there's this tension in the concept of democracy. And what I've noticed, or at least it feels like for me in the two months I've been here, is that often when we talk about democracy, we get into these loops or patterns of the same conversations going again. And people might agree, but they're so passionate about what they're saying that they don't hear what the other person is saying. And I've been very careful to avoid those conversations while I've been here. But today I have like these 20 minutes just by myself, so <laughs> I might contribute. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Thank you. And, you know, I don't want to mess with the concept of democracy in, in a different country because I don't know enough about this. I don't know how it feels. I don't know how you wake up in the morning when you have an election like, does that make you happy? Does that make you sad, angry, passionate? I, I don't know. Because democracy is really complicated and I wouldn't touch that thing with a 10-foot pole and help. here you are all participating, except for some absence people. <laughs> but I'm happy for your participation. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to count up my votes, five and five, to see who's the winner. And we have about 20 votes on number three, which is interesting. Because it seems that there's... Four, five, six, seven, eight. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, we count. <laughs> How many are you? You see, it didn't make a difference that you stayed there. I have more than enough votes. <laughs>
which you guys helped me a lot with. Uh, <laughs> and I want us to have this experience together as a group, and maybe we can make up our own thoughts. So thank you for having me. Thank you for being at my exam. And good luck in your coming election. <laughs> Yeah. 